Hey learners, welcome back to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the Golgi operators. The Golgi word is actually a name of scientist who discovered the Golgi operators. His name was Camilo Golgi and he discovered the Golgi operators in 1898. So to honor that scientist, the word Golgi operators is used. Well, in the case of apparatus, apparatus is any machinery which is used for particular function or particular purpose. In other words, Golgi apparatus is actually a machinery discovered by Golgi, Camilo Golgi, and it is used to perform particular function or particular purpose. The Golgi operators is found in both animal as well as plant cells. It means that this is an organelle present in eukaryotic cells. If we talk about the structure of Golgi operators, under the microscope, the Golgi operators, it looks like a cracked cup. If a cup is broken and from that broken cup, small vesicles or small bags or small pouches they are generating. If you um, talk about the detail of this cracked cup, it is made up of cristerni. Here in this diagram, we have this nucleus. To the nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum is attached. Rough anti uh, endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes. And just beside that, this Golgi apparatus is present. This is cisterni cisterni are actually flattened membrane bounded sacs here you can see that they are flat in structure they have this membrane and they are actually sacs just look at the structure of this cisterni these cisternies they form two faces one is maturation side the other one is forming side the forming side is also known as cis site, while the maturation side is also known as trans site. The forming side is always facing towards the nucleus. The forming side means that new Golgi apparatus is forming at this particular side. What happens that? The vesicles originating from the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they fuses together at the forming side and forms new Golgi operators. While at the maturation side, the mature side, maturation means mature side, all the pro, uh, substances which needs to be processed inside the Golgi operators, they are processed and then they are delivered into these vesicles and then these vesicles, they go to different destinations so this is the maturation side while the other side is forming side the maturation side is always facing the cell membrane then comes the secretory vesicles the secretory vesicles are actually membrane bounded sacs here you can see these are the secretory vesicles they are membrane bounded sacs and they are used for the transportation of different substances If we talk about the number of Golgi operators, then 10 to 20 Golgi stacks, they are present in animal cells. While hundreds of Golgi stacks, they are present in plant cells. Let's talk about the function of uh, Golgi operators. The first function of Golgi operators is the modification of cellular content. For example, if one protein is produced inside this endoplasmic reticulum by the help of ribosome, this protein is sent to the Golgi operators. In the Golgi operators, this protein is going to be modified. What will happen that they can add carbohydrates to the protein or 
if this cellular product is lipid in both cases the carbohydrate is pres uh, is added to these things and then glycoprotein or glycolipid is formed these two are actually the modified products the main products were protein and lipids then when they enter into the golgi apparatus because of the addition of carbohydrates they are modified into glycoprotein and then glycolipids then comes the second important function of golgi apparatus which is transportation these products these modified products along with other products which may be protein which may be lipid hormones or whatever the cellular product is it is transported from the cell one cell to another cell or inside the cell to other destinations in these secretory vesicles so what will happen that modified product it will gain entry or the simple cellular products will gain entry in the secretory vesicles and then these secretory vesicles it may go towards the cell membrane or it may go to some other organelle or wherever it is that product is needed the secretory vesicle will take that product to that particular organelle or site the third function of golgi apparatus is cell wall synthesis this function is especially performed in plant cells uh, the polysaccharides polysaccharides are synthesized or formed by the help of golgi apparatus and these polysaccharides are then sent from the cell membrane to cell wall for its synthesis so this was just a brief introduction about the golgi apparatus its structure and its function i hope this topic is clear to you but still if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section and if you like my this video please subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends so that they can also get benefited from this i will see you in the next video bye bye